because he wouldn't make make somebody evil because you know something that's abhorrent to him. And I'm saying, well, you need to you have your faith, but I also have empirical science that states that yes, people are born with a predisposition towards whatever sexuality they have. Granted, and let me just say, granted the majority is great, but there are there gay people. people of faith. There's people of faith who believe that that God did make gay people and He made them perfectly. And I, you know, just so just I've got a lot of friends that are pretty strong religious people, and that they are total liberals as far as all that's concerned, and they don't. That's awesome. Think that's that there's any hate. My mother, so, my mother's a yeah. Christian. My mother's yeah, a my Christian. I'm, 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 and I, and I was, I'm an atheist, but so. Yeah. <laughs> well, I I, yes, I was raised Christian. Okay, I I used to believe, but I stopped because of yeah. all of this crap. I mean, it's okay well, if you believe. I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna well, the, try to. I think tell the you problem. Different. The problem comes in where, you know, like, yeah, I, 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 yeah exactly. And that's what happens is, like, people who are oppressed do get beat down by the oppress the oppression of people like your highly religious zealots or whatever. Yeah. Um, and that happens. And so then they wonder why we don't want anything to do with them. But, um, yeah, so I think the difference is this. Uh, I think there are people who are religious who, even though it may be kind of an oxymoron or whatever, there are people who are religious who actually are not homophobic, who actually are not – uh, racist or whatever, and they get shunned, and they and they're shunned within their own religion. So it's yeah, kind of it's kind of interesting. They do, but, but whatever, whatever it's you true. try to keep saying and whatever, yeah, yeah it's you know, yeah, it's true. But, but um, they're far where you say, yeah, and where you, and where you <laughs> yeah. say that um that you know they wonder why we don't why we don't want to do want anything to do with them anymore. It's you know this is uh well they don't really care if we want anything to do with them anymore. They're gonna they're they're trying to lobby the government and try to do everything they can in order to force their force their way by manipulating the law. They're, that's right. what they've been trying to do. That's what that's what all these uh all these filibusters and other things that the GOP is doing left and right here is to say we're trying to make this a Christian nation and we're gonna do it our way, the conservative way. And they are fighting first at the states, but they're all they're, more I don't know how recently but you know it's gotten to be such a such a big deal I can't really keep up with all of it but it's like some of it's some of it's well, the, way the thing that the irritates government. me the most the thing that irritates me the most is in terms of this discussion anyway it, it is um when churches and pastors and preachers or whatever they take their money and they rally Mormon churches, whatever. Take their money and they rally and they 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 use their money against causes that they you know political causes that they are not for or the causes they're against. And that's Which actually why... against the uh, tax code where it says uh-huh. if you're a church or a religious institution and you have tax exemption status, you cannot be, be political. And so that's happening all of the time, and more and more every day, every year. And they're trying to influence legislation, and they have, and they do. Yet they they maintain their status, they maintain the money that's coming in, and nothing ever gets done to them. But in the meantime, people like the rest of us who are oppressed by people like that have to continue to fight harder and harder for our rights. And so it's the same with this case here. And she, you know, people are going to have to fight for this, fight against people who are ignorant, bigoted, or whatever. Uh, in order to get what's right, uh, make what's right happen. And so hopefully that will be, you know, like you said, it's writing our legislation, it's writing our governors, it's, it's, it's protesting, I guess. I don't really know how you'd protest, but, you know, whatever. Um, just do whatever we can. More, I'm thinking about staging a protest. I'm thinking about staging a protest for this. I mean, um, you know, everyone here probably knows about Anonymous. They uh, they were in yes. they were involved in that chat long bef- um, sometime before I got in there, and um, – I'm like I'm in there and I I post like yes anonymous has a heart and I put a picture there and I'm like rule 32 picture didn't happen I provide tricks rule seven anon delivers so every, there was a lot of people that liked it and they're like yeah and so we're like I'm thinking um, why don't we just stage a protest on top of all this just to compound the idea that we're not that we're taking this very seriously that seriously. You know, just with that tax code thing, there those are big. Those are the bigger fish that they need to be frying. Seriously, right. if you're five, you if you're five hundred one c four, you don't have the right to use three. your non your non profit money to uh, to lobby the government. <laughs> Therefore, the IRS needs to be doing something about that. You wonder why the IRS is picking on conservatives because guess what? Churches are primarily con- uh, composed of them. Mhm. Mm-hmm. Gee. Hmm. Now the truth comes out. Now I have well, you no know what, wait, for them. 
Go ahead, Eric. You know what would really change this case is if a senator's child was the oh, yes. 18-year-old. You know, yeah. I mean, honestly, that's what would change this case. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, that would be even more of a fiasco. Hey, that's what yeah, we could do. I know what we could do. We could uh, entrap some 18-year-old. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's long- what they <laughs> already did. Some senator's son, I mean. <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, technically, this whole thing was entrapment anyway. I mean, because entrapment, by the way, yeah. is illegal. So it was. I it mean, was, this, it was. this whole thing was fishy, and I had to ask a couple of times. I mean, who paid off who in order to make this expulsion thing happen? Because yeah, I, I, I don't think that. it. I don't think it was mere word of mouth. I, don't, I really don't think it was words saying uh, saying well, this has been done. Well, you have to realize, Richard, also though that communities are made up of people, right? So the people who make up communities have that sort of group think. And the people in that school uh, obviously thought that this was wrong, that they're lesbian or whatever, and so they did what they could to make sure that she got expelled because they want they had the opportunity to do it, so they did it. I don't know if it's legal or not, but they had the opportunity to do it and they did. So people it's, who think it's that ambiguous. Way do what they can. It doesn't matter if it's legal or not. Ambiguous. It doesn't matter if it's morally or legally ambiguous to them or not. All they care about is getting sticking it to the gay people, basically. That's all they mm-hmm. care about. Oh yeah. No, they don't care. I, oh yeah, I know. So. It wasn't really anything. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for calling into the show. I really appreciate you, Erica and Richard, calling and talking about this. And I really think that you guys had a lot of great things to say. I really hope also that um, somehow this little bitty tiny show will help people uh, hear the, her story. And also, people will do something about it. And like we said, everybody earlier in the show, those of you listening to archives on podcasts, whatever you're listening to, uh, you can go to, once again, you can go to the Free Kate page on Facebook. Uh, and you can also go to the, um, they have a page set up for funding for her legal fees if you're interested in helping. I'm sure anything that they can get would be uh, appreciated. Uh, and you can go to the Free Free Kate page on Facebook and get that address there, as well as sign a petition at change.org slash Free Kate. So I want to thank you, Erica. Richard, thank you very much for calling. Uh, everybody well, else. Well, thanks, for, thanks for hosting it and thanks for you're welcome. talking about it. That was awesome. You're very Appreciate welcome. It. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, and I will see you guys later. Thanks and you have a great night. Good night. All right. Sounds good. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. You're listening to Off Limits. Liberal, irreverent, oh, and really, really gay.